I think it's the time period and it's the, both the terror of it and the excitement of coming out of it that really it creates an unusual experience. It was an experience unlike I've ever had, working in Paris, working with this crew, the actors, and then telling the story of Christian Dior and Coco Chanel, and this time period of post-war uh, creativity coming through the occupation, Nazi occupation of Paris, um, and really a life-changing seven-year-long journey to get here. To really understand the stories of these people whose names have been around us all of our lives, Dior, Chanel, Balenciaga, Balmain, Givenchy, to realize that these are fully lived people, their lives, and they came through extraordinary times. Yeah, I think to recognize the power that they're still around, and they're still, if anything, more a part of everybody's lives than ever before. It goes to the power of the script, the scripts that he wrote and supervised, and, and you know, when you have great actors like this, so much more is possible. It was an uh, experience, again, unlike anything, because we had really supported us in filming in Paris, which was extremely crucial to the series itself, and then all throughout, with the, combining with music, Apple Music, and Jack Antonoff, and all the artists that he brought to the soundtrack. Uh, so it, because it's Apple TV, because of the reach of Apple, uh, we were able to create what we hope is a very entertaining, transportive experience for an audience to see the new look.